Nope. Wait, did I swap it back? Yeah, I did. I'm always going to run Nature's Wrath. 20% increased base damage is just way too good. It, it's the most OP thing in my opinion. You could even run it in medium if you want to, and it's still better than running in light without Nature's Wrath. So, like, the people that are like, oh, you need to run Featherweight in medium, blah, 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 or in light, whatever. Yeah, maybe for healers, but that's it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just not... It's just too good. So, you're increasing your base damage by 20% on here. Another 15% from being in light. And another 15% from deep freeze, right? Because you get the 15% additional damage uh, to frozen, rooted, or chilled enemies, right? So, now you can't have timed empowers, which is fine. And then I run Enchanted Ward, Flame Conditioning, Slash Conditioning on my helmet. Because, obviously, Fire Staffs... And then, you know, hatchet, great sword, great axe, uh, whatever. Slash, right? Everything slash. Uh, I run the exact same thing on my pants. Enchanted Ward Flame Conditioning Slash Conditioning. Gotcha. I got you. Lami. Uh, stop it. Um, I run Elemental Aversion Slash Conditioning Health on my uh, boots, which is identical to my gloves. So I'm running five Slash Conditioning total because... I don't really run too much slash resistance, right? Um, I have two health just because I don't have flame conditioning on them yet. So ideally, these would be elemental aversion slash conditioning flame conditioning and not health. And then I would have four flame conditioning, five slash conditioning, which is like, in my opinion, amazing. And I would have three enchanted ward and two elemental aversion. Um, for me personally, I feel like that would cover just about everything that I can't cover with gems. So for gems, as you can see, I have 22.5 thrust, 7.5 slash, 2.5 strike, and then eight for everything except for fire, which is 13. So if I had the ideal world and I want to roll the stuff and do all that, which I don't feel like doing right now, I have the goal to do it, but I don't want to do it. Um, I would have flame conditioning on four pieces, which means after I get once by fire, which is already 13% mitigated, it would add another 20% to that, right? Or I'm sorry, um, yeah, 20%. So if I had that, that's great, because then I also have 25% slash, right? So Which then puts me up to like 32.5 um, when I get hit by it. My hammer right now, I have a couple that I mingle with, um, but all of them have plague strikes and trench and strikes. Because when you hit a healer in their own sacred ground, they feel safe. But in reality, you're plaguing them and hitting them for 23% more, right? Because it's, it's I do the quick heavies. I don't do the full heavies, so there's a difference, right? Full heavy is this. Quick heavy is this. It's like almost twice as fast. So quick heavies still apply the plague strikes and the trench and strikes. As well as whatever else you have on your hammer, you know, passives or whatever it may be, right? Now, as far as my hammer goes, even though you can't have timed in powers, power through pain is uncleansable according to AGS. Um, so if I go to here, I go to desktop, um, and then I go to this, this table right here. So this is on New World Buddy, right? So essentially, it's non-dispellable in power. Uh, which you, you, you can't take it off, right? Um, so regardless of what you do, you will always have that extra 35% uh, damage after taking damage. That's why it's also really freaking strong. Um, obviously, I run Armor Breaker. Right now, I'm trying uh, Opening Act with the Onyx, right? So your Onyx is doing the 15% more damage against targets above 70% health. Uh, then when you look at the opening act, you're doing 25% more damage against targets above 70% health, right? So I'm just trying to stack shit on top of each other to do like massive amounts of damage, right? Um, also exhaust from all the Warhammer abilities because that makes their stam regen less. So when I quick heavy them, 
and they keep trying to roll, but they're slowed and they're like just pissed off and don't know what to do. Their stam's also regening slower. Um, increase the armor penetration by 10% for all Warhammer basic attacks, which is lights and heavies, um, which is great for me. Increase heavy attack damage by 15% if they're under 30%. So that's where like an emerald would be way better. Um, then you have add grit to your Warhammer heavy attacks. So you're mitigating 12% damage from everything while you're doing heavy attacks, even if it's a quick heavy. Um, also, your armor is increased by 20% if you're surrounded by two enemies, right? Which is cool. I'm always, I always have two people around me. Always. Um, and then I have when uh, you reduce your damage taken by 10% while walking, running, and sprinting, um, which is just awesome, right? Like, you just 10% mitigation by walking around with a hammer. Um... 15% increased damage against targets affected by Warhammer debuffs, which most of them have exhaust on them, right? Because I'm hitting them with something. Um, the extra health back with uh, Path is really the only reason I have that on there. Um, and then I do the full Path tree. But normally I do Shockwave. It's just right now I'm testing some things with Leeching Path to see if I have more sustainability. So, like, I can use Shockwave to get out of a mess uh, normally to stun everybody and get out. But right now, I feel like Path, getting the stagger on people and also getting a bunch of health back because it's all damage-based percentages, right? So if I'm healing for 62% of the damage dealt by Path of Destiny and I'm doing massive amounts of damage, then I should have a full health bar every time I hit, you know, hit a little clump or whatever, you know? Um, right now, I'm running uh, Strike Damage, Invigorated Punishment, Hardy on the ring, Tangle Vine Amulet with Stam Recovery, and then just regular endless thirst, but regenerating. I usually don't have heals, but when I do, you know what I mean? It's like regenerating. And I, I get the empowering toast doesn't work, but the fact that my consumables are 33% stronger, uh, it just it helps so much. So much. So, like most of this stuff, you know, it's kind of like farmable. Deep Freeze is farmable. Nature's Wrath is farmable. Um, the Tangle Vine Amulet's farmable. Champion's Ring is farmable. Um, Endless Thirst is farmable. It's really just the, the four gear pieces that are, like, hard to get. But other than that, it's... I, like I said, I use this for all my light builds. The same set. I do have Punishing Gems in, but I don't really... I can't say that I notice a difference. Because I'm usually two-shotting people anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter, right? Like... Heavy attack, armor break, most of them die. But an extra 5% damage where I can take it, right? So. No, 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 please, no, no, me. That's the build, guys. Very simple. I changed this to Healing Tomb because I heal for 30, uh, 32% of my base health after Entomb ends. And that's my survivability. You entomb, you ice wall, and you get the fuck out of dodge.